Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Valheim. And now you might be wondering what I'm doing on the character select screen. Uh, it's because I wanted to show you something. I was watching my buddy Games for Kicks play the game, and he came up with, I don't know if he came up with it, if he saw it, saw it somewhere else or what, but he had a great idea on how to farm ores, okay? And what I'm doing now, all right, is I made a mining world. I used the same exact seed from my season one world. So I knew exactly where the black forest was. I knew exactly where the mine, where the, you know, the ores were, everything. So what I did was I started up this mining world. I went to the, I went to the troll cave, made a little outpost. There's two nodes of copper in that immediate area. Uh, and then what I do is I mine copper till I'm almost encumbered. I dump it in a chest rinse and repeat until my pickaxe is broke and then i grab everything out of the chest completely encumbered here's the trick when you log out in a world you log back in exactly where you were so life doing my season one world was log out near a chest go to my mining world load up encumbered come back to my season one world drop it in the chest bada boom bada bing bob's your uncle really really nice i also made a wood chopping world but eh, Wood isn't as heavy, and there's a lot of trees around me, so this isn't quite as useful, although it will help me get fine wood, which is really, really cool. So thank you to Games for Kicks, man. That was um, that was legit, man. That was, that was legit uber strats right there. I think I, I think I walked out with like 40, 40, 45 copper or something like that. It was freaking awesome. All right, so let's talk about last episode, uh, Poison Resist. When I was, po uh, first of all, Poison. When I was poisoned, I didn't realize it. Top right-hand side of the screen, there was a little poison icon. Now, you guys got to understand, when, when shit's getting real and <laughs> I, got, I got guys trying to kill me, you know, I miss stuff like that because I'm not usually looking up here on the top right-hand side of the screen. I'm looking in the middle of the screen for stuff that's attacking me, right? So I did miss that. It was right up here in the top right-hand side of the screen, and it was a poison buff. So... I got poisoned by the slime and the leeches, okay? So I think uh, I'm going to be making some poison resist before I go back there, okay? So we've got the poison resistance, and it's this stuff. A lot of the stuff isn't that bad. The thistles are the real issue. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to get some more thistles. Uh, the fermenter has been complete, and I got six medium healing me meads out of this. That's incredible. That's incredible. So I, I'm guessing, and I'll test this at some point, but I'm guessing what you do is you keep this on your hot bar. Now, this is healing over time, but it doesn't say how much how much per tick. I wonder. It should tell you how much per tick because is it one hit point per tick? Is it five? Is it ten? I don't know. I guess I'll find out. Um, but yeah, medium, I'm guessing you just kind of put this on your hot bar and you can use it during combat. I'm just guessing. Uh, so that's freaking great. And you got, you got six out of that. So that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm going to make a lot more of those. All right, so another thing you guys told me is just drop a bunch of food in the pig pen. Just throw food everywhere. Come back, there'll be a lot of pigs. So that's what I did. I put a lot of food over here. Although I haven't given it a lot of time. Uh, okay, so there's a baby right there. Wait, there's six now and a baby. No, there's five and a baby. Nope, there's another baby. Okay, yeah, so what I did was I just threw the food out here and I threw it in stacks. Okay, um, although I did throw a bunch of food out here and I'm not seeing... Is there something there or not? It looked like there was. I threw a bunch of food out here and only getting two baby pigs out of the stuff I threw out here. I threw like 15 raspberries and like, I don't know, like six corn or six, not corn, uh, six carrots. Um, I'm thinking you probably don't want to throw a lot of food in there because here's the deal. The, the pigs get hungry. Okay. Now, if you don't feed them, as far as I understand, it doesn't make any difference. They're not going to die. No big deal. The only way they're going to mate, though, is if you feed them. So what I think happens is maybe they don't mate every time. Are they mating right now? I can't tell. Let's leave them alone. Uh, maybe they're not mating every time and they're just eating it to get full. So maybe I should just throw less in there. I don't know. I can't be affording. I can't be affording. I can't afford to be uh, wasting, you know, a lot of food in there from only getting like a couple babies out of it. It's got to be like one baby per food or else it might not be worth it. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, uh, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? Okay, I want to make bronze armor now that I can get bronze. Um, because I was thinking maximum defense. Now, doesn't bronze armor slow you down, though? So here's the deal. People told me, Cage, don't use bronze. It slows you down. With both pieces, you're getting a, a negative, five, uh, negative 10 percent movement penalty. But then I had someone in my comments today tell me, when is he going to learn that bronze is better? Um, I... <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just I'm just going with what people tell me. Uh, this is definitely going to slow me down, and I don't think that movement penalty is on the troll hide stuff. I didn't see it up there, but let's look in here too, just to kind of see. 
Uh, yeah, no movement penalty. Okay, so I'm, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make the troll hide cape. All right, enough is enough. This this um this troll hide's been burning a hole in my pockets. Uh, so <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and make the troll hide cape. Okay, we just need ten bones. I got bones. I got bones for days, man. I just don't know where they are. All right, there we go. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make the bronze armor. I, I don't know. See, here's my thoughts. Okay, I think speed is worth more than armor in this game as of I as far as I've been playing it. Okay. I don't think like when you're getting crushed, I don't think a few more armor is really gonna make I don't know, maybe it does. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm I have no idea. Uh all I know is I've got the troll height the troll height cape and that makes me happy. So let's go ahead and put this cape away. Alright now for today's episode, I'm gonna be doing something I, I haven't done in a while. I'm gonna do a building episode, right? Oh also I was thinking that with I don't really know how much I like the honey anymore because it only lasts 300 seconds with this um, medium healing potions. The thing is, if you use honey, you can't use any of these big ones, right? And that only gives 20-20 at 300 seconds. This thing, this stuff seems a lot better. So that that's one thing I was thinking of. Um, yeah. So anyway, we're going to do a building episode today. And what I was doing was I was kind of... I, I think what I want to do is I want to have... First of all, let's turn this off so we don't accidentally walk through it. Uh, and a non acclable whatever, acclable <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so I want this to be, like, just the way it is. This is going to be an entrance hall, very nonchalant, you know, whatever. And then this is going to be, um, one part of the base, and I think I want th this thing mirrored on the other side. I think that would be, um, I think that would be pretty cool. So that's, that's what I'm looking to do today. Uh, I am going to have to raise the ground over here quite a bit, which is kind of annoying, because it takes stone. But I've been kind of playing around with it and trying to get, like, you know, used to it and everything. So, uh, let's see. Where do we want to go? Okay, so we're going to stand right here. I think it tries to pull the ground up or down based on the the level you're standing on. That's the only... As far as I can tell. I wish this thing didn't use stamina either. <laughs> it just slows me down. All right. So, we got that. And we got that. So, you see right there how that's not coming up? We're going to need some stone. So, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab me some stone. And if the ground doesn't come up, then you have to use this this part right here, raise ground. There we go. I'll be a little bit careful with where I use it, because I prefer not to waste the stone. Probably got to do it again. But I don't put down the ground unless I absolutely have to. Because you'd be surprised. Sometimes you think you have to put down more ground, and you don't. So try and flatten it out first, and then put, the ground, put down the ground if you have to. Uh, this wood needs to go. Is this going to encumber me? Yes, it would. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Well, that's cool. I think I'm still going to move this over here because I'm not doing anything with wood right now, so I don't need to have all that all that wood, you know, causing me issues. All right. So let's go ahead and flatten. Okay. And this has got to go to right about here. That should be pretty good. And we're going to want it to go. It's got to go. This has definitely got to get raised up right here. All right, so you see that's not getting raised up, so plop, plop. No game has ever gotten terraforming 100% correct, but this game's pretty freaking close. This is actually really good terraforming. I've terraformed in a lot of games, and it's usually pretty freaking bad. You know, it's a hard thing to do, so um, this is this isn't that bad. By the way, is there any? I know there's I know there's items in this game that can give you stamina. Like your stamina bar. Is there any items in this game that give you more stamina re regeneration? Because that's, that's what I want to know. I need more stamina regeneration. Alright. So that's not coming up. So we got to place that right there. Alright. And. Okay. So we just got to keep doing this. Oh my god. Here we go. I got a bunch of baddies. I got a big red circle on my map. Oh, here we go. Okay. So should I go melee with these guys? Nah. I don't really see the point in that. Let's light them on fire. Okay. See how you like that. Yeah, boy. They like me now. I'll probably melee them a little bit. Because I'm kind of curious of how well I can do. But let's just thin the herd a little bit. Take away some of their hit points. Kind of run them around. Oh, oh crap. Uh... 
There we go. <laughs> oh boy. I got I didn't have any food on me or anything. Well, I mean I have it on me, I just didn't have it on my I wasn't eating it. Alright, we gotta watch our stamina. Alright. Watch our stamina. Watch our stamina. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's not gonna <laughs> There's there's a lot of them, dude. So I'm gonna wait until I thin him out a little bit. We should take out that shaman first, right? I think he's healing them. There you go, tough guy. Heal that. Okay. Okay, got the sh got the shaman again. I see, I don't know if he's healing them or not. I don't. Maybe he's not, but whatever. Take him out anyway. Always go after the magic users first. All right, here we go. Oh, I hate the fact that it's dark. Okay, tough guy. Come on, hit me. Hit me! There we go. Alright. Where's the big guy? I'm pretty sure I didn't kill him. Did I? Did I kill the big guy? I don't see him. I don't think he... Oh, well, I still got the red thing on my screen. Yeah, let's do this. So I can actually run around. Just in case he's still here. Normally I would think he was dead, but the problem is the red exclamation point's still there. I'm kind of getting nervous he's attacking my base without me there. Uh, I don't see him. No, he's not attacking my base. I don't know where the hell he is. Okay, we still, we still got a lot of guys over here. There he is, I see him. Whoop. Oh, they're throwing shit at me. Yeah, let's just go. Let's go hard. Okay. And now we move. Because the big guy's in the area. When the big guy's in the area, we be very, very careful. I'm going to upgrade this bow today, too. Hopefully I don't make more of them by accident again. <laughs> Alright. We're going to melee? Let's melee. Come on, swing. You're not going to swing? Alright, fine. I'll swing. There you go. Hey, you like me now. Can you, like, sneak out of combat? Oh, I can. Well, I snuck out of combat for some of them. Interesting. Did you see that? Now, was that just a, like, was he just getting bored and gave up, or did I actually sneak out of combat? I kind of feel like I snuck out of combat. There we go. Alright, fair enough. Oh, it's over. Maybe they're running away. Alright, let me go loot everything. Yeah, I got some pretty cool loot. Um, nothing too crazy, though. Nothing too crazy. Just all, like, the regular stuff. But... I still need a lot of it. Okay, so I've got this pretty flat out here. And I think we are doing well. So let's keep putting these down. I'm probably going to need to pickaxe this or... Yeah. I'm going to need to pickaxe this bad boy right here. Boom! And we do like this. You know, as I was playing the game and I was like... I was thinking to myself, man, I haven't done like a real deal building video yet. That's very unlike me. Um, the thing is with the building in this game is it kind of slows down... Uh, it kind of slows down progression. I'm trying to progress. So, I won't be doing building videos like I normally do. Because I'd like to progress in the game. Um, but, I'm thinking the reason I just got attacked might be because I'm building. Like, some people are saying it. Like, certain things in the game will make it so the enemy... Uh, you'll, you'll start getting attacked like that more. Uh, some people are saying defeating bosses is part of the things that does it. And... Oh, is that good? No, it's not quite, not quite where I need it to be. Um, but I'm thinking maybe, like, putting down more workbenches or something. Because, like, I put down two more workbenches today and expanded my base. And that's the first time I've been attacked like that in a long time. Alright. I think that's pretty decent. I'd like that corner taken care of, please. There we go. We're going to have to put down another one. Yes. Damn it. 
Well, that's why I got a lot of stone. That's another cool thing about getting the, the, the bronze, you know. In order to get the copper, you get a lot of stone. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'll probably bring this up as well at some point, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's go ahead and, and uh, put down a floor. By the way, the middle one is a 5x5, five five, and the two on the sides are going to be 9x9s. Nine uh, well, actually, no, they're 9x... I'm sorry, 9x... Wait, actually, what are they? They're 9s going this way. I just don't know about the other way. Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so they're 9x7s. I can live with that. I don't like even numbers, by the way, what I'm building. All right, let's check on the uh, the hogs, see how they're doing. Oh, I see more babies. Well, one more baby. Oh, two more babies, unless they just haven't grown up yet. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And I don't see any food on the ground. I'm throwing food on the ground five at a time. Uh, because, well, actually if there's nine, I should, I'm thinking one piece of food for each animal at a time. I'm not really sure. I don't want to be throwing food on the ground if it's not doing anything. All right. So I went ahead and called an audible here and I have this, you know, I don't really need this to be this big, especially if I'm going to have it on both sides. So I kind of cut this in like that. It also does the, um, it also gives us the, uh, advantage of not having a, um, completely box of a base, you know, it gives it a little bit of, um, I don't know, a little bit of charm, a little bit of, uh, I don't know. I think it looks better. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all this wood over here. And actually, can I hold another thing of wood? Yeah, I should be able to, actually. Wait, well, how much does the whole thing weigh? A hundred. Oh, okay, so I can't. I didn't know the wood weighed that much. I thought it was like 50, but... All right, it is what it is. Let's get the walls up. Um, I completely forgot that the floors will get damaged. Now, it really doesn't matter if the floors get damaged because I could repair them and it's free to repair them. So, really, it doesn't matter if the floors get damaged. Also, I'm not putting any windows in right now. I'll put windows in after the fact. Because uh, I usually like to build my walls first, then put windows in. Okay. So, I wonder if I made a deck over here. Like, what if I made this into a deck? Do you still think that, that makes the base square? Because the base will be more square with a deck. But the thing is, it's only a deck. It's not a full part of the base. Kind of something I was thinking about. That's going to be later on, though. That's not right now. I'm going to have to move my farm, too. It's a, it's a really bad spot. This is pretty much going to be the entrance of my base now. All right. So, um, now I have to think about how I want to do the roof. I'm not even going to do this side today. I'm just going to do this side. And then once I realize exactly how I want to build this side, I'll mirror it over here. All right. That's my that's my plan. Okay. And, you know, let me just put down the rest of the floor. Okay. Um, I was building, like, the same kind of building I built over here. And then I started messing around with structural integrity with the roof. And I was like, well, I'm going to need poles in the middle or something. The roof actually went up just fine here. But I thought, you know, having poles in there would look pretty cool too. And then I was thinking, why don't we just make something way out there? I'm just going to I'm gonna build putting down, um, you know, the outline of where I want the roof to go. And then I'm going to go from there. It could come out very poorly. Uh, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I just want to try something like completely like new and out there. So I'm guessing we'll put this right here. Put that right there. Um, that right there. That's going to be a full wall. I'm just leaving a hole there so I can get in and out easier. Um, this, I guess, will be the roof part, right? Like so. Okay. Very good. The door will be over here, so that should work just fine. And then we'll put the roof part over here as well. Okay. Originally, my idea was to make the walls too high, but I'm going to try and do it without that. Um, I, I do want the place to feel somewhat roomy. Uh, and I'm thinking we're going to build something going upstairs and then have, like, an area going up there. So um, I don't really know how I want to get up there, though. So let's kind of see what kind of stairs we have. We have these. These aren't real stairs. These are the stairs we want. So I'm thinking I kind of want to put these in the middle of the room because I don't like these poles here. They kind of like feel like they're wasting time. Uh, but I don't know how I would get up there easily. I mean, I could just do it like this, going all the way up there like that. You know, I'm guessing. See, that's not in the middle, though. You can't put these poles in the middle of a foundation. That's one thing I wish they'd change. Like, you see right here, it doesn't snap into the middle of a foundation, only on the corners. I hope they change that. I would like it to be able to snap in the middle. If you're wondering why there's a hole in the floor, uh, it was a mistake. Mistakes were made. 
Um, maybe I should figure out how I want to do over here before I decide how to get up there. I'm out here chopping down some more trees like a beast. I just used one of the healing potions because I was kind of curious. It heals you up real quick. I don't know what the tick is, but it's like every second I was getting like five or ten hit points. It was it was really, really fast. But there is a cooldown on it if you look on the top right hand side of the screen. So I think the I think the honey is still gonna be pretty useful uh, moving forward. Anywho, so let me show you what I got going on in here. Um, you know, I'm kind of playing it by ear, just trying to do the best I can. And I figured this would be a really good spot in the middle to get up to the second floor. So that's what I'm going to do. And let's continue building. Yeah, this is going to be, uh, I think it's going to come out way better than it would have if I just did my normal thing, you know. Uh, so this is making me quite happy. And there we go. Can we, um, do that? Yes, we can. So there we go. So now I can get up to the next floor. And I guess the next floor is just going to be all, uh, this is going to take a few videos, guys. I, this is not getting done today. Uh, this has been a, this has been crazy. Wait, will this not, wait, what? Hmm. The floors aren't really snapping at the place up here like I thought they would. Oh, that's going to be a problem. It looks like they do right there. Is that what I'm going to have to deal with? That looks like it's snapping into place. Yeah. Okay. I think that's where they got to go. All right, that's all right. It'll up here will be a will be a more interesting uh, situation. Faux show, and then we do that and that and that, and I'm gonna have to make that that middle that front that middle building really tall because I want that to, to be the, I want the entrance hall to be the tallest thing. Although I don't know, I guess I could I don't have to have the entrance hall be the tallest building. I don't know, something I think about invalid placement. There we go. Okay, and then right here, that will go right there. That stays open. And that goes there. And maybe we should put one of these across here if we can. No, nope, that's not the right one. This one. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how. Let's see how this works. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> we gotta give it a try, right? Oh crap, I just used my ability. Alright, that's alright. That's not gonna work there either. And that's not gonna work there either. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah, the building mechanics are pretty good. Um, there's some issues with it. But I gotta tell you, man. Um, I think it's pretty freaking dope. And then I got this part right here in the corner, which is awesome. And I think we're gonna leave this part over here undone for today because I want to figure out how I'm going to do the next floor. All right. So I'm thinking just a regular wall, All right? I'll put some, uh, I'll put a lot of, um, a lot of windows up here. Don't worry guys. The windows are going to come in last. You know, I got to build a thing to, before I decide where the windows go. How does that look by the way? Let's take a look. Yeah. I mean, you know, it looks a little flat in the front. I'm going to do some kind of... Well, actually, that's not a doorway, so it doesn't matter. I wonder if I can, like, kind of make the front look a little bit more, you know, textured if I put stuff, like, here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that looks that looks good. And then maybe even, like, um, across the bottom. Uh, like so. Yes, I like it. I like it a lot. Can't see it that well, but trust me, it's looking cool. And if I wanted to, I could even make it look even more dope. You know, just put stuff in here, like, you know, I don't know. Like, maybe, uh, right here. And then right here. It just makes it look, it just makes it look more, like, textured. You know, like, um, it pops a little bit. It's not just a, a flat area. It's the hardest thing to do in these games, not have those flat areas. I am running out of wood. Uh, did I hear someone growling at me? I better not have. All right, let's count our pigs really quick. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, I'm losing count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine i don't remember how many i had last time um but there's nine in there now 
I'll feed them later. I want, I want to I want to continue working on this thing. Uh, you know what we could do maybe is have like a little bit of a, I don't know, have like a little bit of a of a deck thing out here. That those those ladder those stairs are a little weird. Uh, I was thinking maybe something like this. Uh, the regular door there, and then the wall. The door's in the wrong spot. That's okay. We will fix it. Yeah, I'm just going to work on this area right here. Because once I get the idea, the rest of the base will be easy. Alright. I do like the big doors better. Uh, yeah, the big door will work here. Wait, that's not the big door. There's the big door. The big daddy door. And then we're going to put uh, this one right here. Like so. And this one right here. Come on. Work with me. And then put one up there. Like that. And then we need... See how, the, see how that's got like the, the pole on the one side and not the other? What I like to do is... Someone, when you guys told me in the comments, it's a really good idea. You just, you know, match it on the other side. And then we'll have a little, uh, little walkway here. Not much of a walkway, but a little walkway. I didn't want much of a walkway there. Just this will be good. Um, and then oh god, I keep I keep thinking of stuff. <laughs> I just I don't stop thinking of stuff. That's good, man. The creative uh, juices are flowing. Okay, and then like this. Come on. There we go. All right, I like that. I like it. Yes. That's gonna look dope as hell. I'll take some damage here. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I'm kind of thinking of something. No. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. There's one other thing I want to do with it. Before we call that little deck area finished. Okay. Come up here. All right. So one more thing. And oh, I got to get Oh, I just I'm using my health potions, guys. That's I you know, I thought I was using my my special ability. I was using my health potion. Oh god. Don't do what I did. Take that freaking health potion off your hotbar if you're not in combat. Oh, that was a mistake. I should probably move it to like the end of the hotbar or something too even when I use it in combat. All right. So let's go ahead and put this right up here. All right. This roof area is going to look more like an attic, but I'm I think I'm okay with that. I think I am okay with... Oh, there's two different kinds. Oh, okay, hold on. I used the wrong kind here. Alright, there we go. Okay. Alright, so what I have here on the outside is... I wanted to use the 26% slopes. But it's not going to line up properly... With the door. On the, on the uh, balcony there. And I'm okay with it. I think it gives even more... Like, character. I think that looks really, really freaking cool. I, I, I like it, man. That's going to be the that's gonna be the build. All right. Well, I do think I'm going to call this one here, here, guys. I've been going a long time, and uh, we need to get to some progression next video as well. So, I, But let me know what you think about the build. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. All right. Anyway, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. If you like the build, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Please, please, please subscribe. If you're not subscribed, it helps me out a ton. All right. I'm going to kill that deer. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Boom! Headshot.